Hi, yes, this is Jim from Umoto Motorized Bicycles, and today I would like to show you how to put together a top end of a YD100 two-stroke motorized bicycle engine. Uh, here are the components right here. This is the, the cylinder. This is our piston. The rings are already installed on this piston. Here's the crank. Here are the, the studs for the cylinder. There's the needle bearing pin. And this is the needle bearing right here. We have our base gasket. We have our uh, clips, needle bearing clips. We have washers, lock washers, and flat washers here. First thing that we should try to do is take a look inside the crank. Make sure that there's nothing inside the crank. Inspect inside, because sometimes things fall in there, one reason or another, and, and you don't want anything to get stuck in the crank. I mean, disaster. So try to uh, inspect and see, make sure that there's nothing inside of it. What I usually do is I pull up the crank, I would like a screwdriver or something. Sometimes it's a little bit stiff. So I just lift it up like that. Make sure it's centered. I'll set this off to the side. Let's talk about putting in our piston. Now there's a certain direction that this piston goes into our cylinder. As you can see here, there's an arrow on the top of our piston, it should be facing uh, forward. If we're looking at the orientation of our cylinder, uh, the angle portion here is where our exhaust goes, and that's the front. Back over here is where our carburetor intake would be bolted onto, and this is the back. So we wanna make sure that our piston, piston arrow faces forward, forward, okay? All right, what I usually do in order to install my piston is I want to make sure that I can squeeze my piston ring at the very top here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little nub. There's a little uh, circular nub here where the, the ends of the piston ring come together. at. That's how you want to orient, orient your, your piston ring. And then when you get it like that, you want to squeeze it together. Squeeze it together, and when you do that, your your ring is basically flush with your piston, and that will allow you to get your piston inside of your cylinder. So I'm going to just set it in like that. Don't have to worry about the the, the ring underneath. I just want to make sure that I get my uh, first piston ring inside. Now I'm going to go over to my other ring, the ring underneath. I'm going to just kind of find out where that nub is. Find out where that nub is so I can squeeze it together. Okay, I think I found it right here. So I'm gonna squeeze it together. I'm just gonna kind of carefully, gently get squeezed together and then push it in. Okay, and as you can see here, you know, both rings are in uh, and the piston is in, okay? I wanna make sure that the the arrow is pointing forward, remember. So what I normally do, I can peek through the spark plug hole and see inside, my, you can't see it, but I can see it. So I'm gonna just go and twist my piston, piston so that that arrow is facing forward. Okay, and I found it like that. The holes for your needle bearing pin are gonna be centered. And the piston's in, right? I usually have uh, the piston set in the center right here, just right in the middle, right there. I'm gonna set this off this side to use later. All right, now let's get into uh, the crank, okay? So we need to first put our gasket and our studs uh, on our crank. 
So we're gonna get our gasket, make sure it's oriented properly to the to the crank, like so. The shape of the gasket should match the, the shape of your crank here where the holes are. Then we're going to get our studs. We're going to screw them in. And what I like to do is I just get a vice grip. Now you can get this at any hardware store. Just tighten so I can clamp on my studs here. I'm going to just tighten, just tighten, tighten until it doesn't want to tighten anymore. There. Do the same thing here. Third one. And our last one. Screw that in. Okay, so we have our base gasket, our bottom gasket, and our four cylinder studs installed on our crank. Now it's time to set our cylinder uh, onto our, or excuse me, set our cylinder onto our crank here. So I have my piston set out, just hanging underneath my cylinder out like that. Well, there's about equal space between the top and the bottom here. The piston hole is fairly down. Okay, not so far down that the, the piston rings are exposed, you know, but high enough so that it can stay inside. So I'm going to make sure that I orient my, my bottom crank here forward this way, orient my cylinder forward with my exhaust here. And now I'm going to get a hold of my needle bearing, set that inside, right over here. Make sure that my crank is up, right over here, my, my rod. I'm going to set this guy down on my crank. Sometimes, you know, you need to kind of just push your, your studs in a little bit because they're angled out a little bit, but usually you can get it so that they're in. And I'm gonna go and tap, tap down my cylinder and piston carefully until all my holes line up here. My piston, um, my crank, and the needle bearing all line up. I'm gonna eyeball it. Look inside there. Okay, until everything is, is aligned. The next uh, step is to get your needle bearing pin and you're going to set it inside right over here just kind of get it in there and sometimes you know it takes a little bit of time to align everything but once you do you can get it in there and you can shove it in here sometimes when it's a little bit stiff i just get something that i can tap like this soccer wrench i just tap it tap it in like that you know like so I'll get a needle nose plier here. I'll just go ahead and kind of poke it in, right? And then when that goes in, you want the pin to go just beyond the little grooves where your needle bearing clips here are going to be inserted, all right? This is what's gonna hold that pin in, these little clips right over here. And how do you get these little, little E-clips in here? What I normally do is I grab a hold of this portion of the clip right there. If you can see that, if you can see that, I'm going to turn it around like this. Right there. Right there. So I got that. I'm holding it like this. 
Now I'm going to set the, the end, the other end in first. I'm gonna go put it in and then I'm going to turn, turn and push, turn and push. I push and turn, I, I use my thumb here to hold, to hold it in so it doesn't pop out. And you really wanna kind of control this because you don't want it to go flying out or falling into your, um, your crank, you know? So uh, it might be a good idea, you know, you can get like a, a towel or a rag, you know, and just kind of set, set it right here. I think that's the smarter thing to do. So just in case, because you don't want that little clip going inside. So once you got that in there, just kind of twist it and try to get that clip in so that it's going to fit in the groove of the piston hole here. Now, how do I make sure it snaps into that groove? I turn this around and I can kind of hold, hold the hole with my finger here just so that that clip doesn't pop out. And then I'm going to push the needle bearing pin in. Did you hear that, that little snap right there? That meant that the little clip here, the little clip is in the groove. It's in the groove. And how do I test to make sure it's in the groove? Well, I look first and then I twist, I twist. And if it's moving nicely, easily, all right, that means it's in that groove. That's in the groove. And that's the way you want to set the, the, the clip inside of your piston here. We're gonna do the other side, okay? Now we're gonna do the other side. Making sure that that needle, needle pin is in, pushed all the way in. I'm gonna get my, my clip again. Get a hold of the little ear right over here. Once again, I'm going to, I'm going to, whoop, get this guy in here just to make sure it doesn't fall in there. All right, we're gonna put it in at an angle with the end, with this end in first, All right? I'm gonna stabilize the pin with my thumb here. I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna push and twist. And it goes in there, it goes in there. Okay, and I wanna make sure that it snaps in the little groove. All right, you wanna make sure it snaps in the groove. Sometimes you can go to the other side and push the pin back. I'm holding the hole, just pushing it out so that it can kind of get back into place. And yes, it looks like the little, the little clip is in the groove that will hold that guy in there. You really wanna make sure that these these clips are in the groove. You don't want them to fall out. You know, they'll, what they'll do is they'll get inside your crank in between your, your piston and cylinder and just cause a disaster. And they'll jam your piston in there. So you really want to make sure that these guys are in there properly. Okay. I twist it there. I go to the other side and make sure that this guy's in there correctly. Twist. Okay. I'll take my towel out of the way. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to push the cylinder down and get that piston up into the cylinder. So it can just squeeze it together like this, right there, and just push down like that, okay? Now sometimes, sometimes it doesn't wanna go in. Sometimes there's a little bit of friction between the cylinder and the, the, um, the studs. So what you can do is you can get maybe like a block of wood, maybe a hammer and just tap, 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 down. It'll go down. That's if uh, you need your cylinder a little bit further down and it gets stuck. Okay, so now that we got our cylinder, we have our cylinder on our crank, it's time to secure our cylinder with our nuts and washers, okay? So we're gonna go and set our flat washers on first. Set all our flat washers on first, okay? Okay, so the flat washers go down first, then we're gonna put our lock washers, our cut washers here. Then we'll take our acorn nuts, tighten our acorn nuts, 
by hand. Here we go. All right. And then we get our wrench, our socket wrench. Uh, these nuts accommodate for a 14 millimeter socket wrench, so that's what I'm using. Sometimes it's 13, you know, but in this case it's 14. We're just going to go ahead and tighten evenly all the way around. If you have a torque wrench, the appropriate uh, torque should be about 13 foot pounds. But I'm just going to evenly go over these nuts until they are firmly Okay, so that's basically how you install uh, a top end, your cylinder and piston onto your crank for a YD100 two-stroke motorized bicycle engine. And, um, you know, here's the intake manifold. You know, we could just bolt that on there. You know, I think you, this is fairly straightforward. You can figure that out. Just tighten this guy on there. But uh, the tough part was putting on our cylinder onto our um, our crank. So yes, um, yeah, if you are interested in learning more about motorized bicycles, two-stroke motorized bicycle engines, installations, if you need parts, if you need engines, if you need bicycles, you now you can check us out at umotobikes.com. That's U-M-O-T-O-B-I-K-E-S.com. And uh, we'll be happy to help you. Okay, thank you very much.